Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Hey Shugs. I have an unboxing today. Uh, this has actually been sitting on my kitchen table for a little bit, along with some other things I need to show you, but I'm excited to show this to you because this is a new to me company. Um, I have not ordered from this company before, so we are going to check this out. You've probably seen a couple of people unbox this. Um, now look here. <laughs> I thought I had taken care of this so you wouldn't see me ride the struggle bus, but that's okay. Alright, there we go. Um, okay. It comes in this triangular tube. Oh boy. With a bunch of... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. There's so much stuff in here. Holy crap. Okay. And there's lots of this pink, pink stuff. Uh, my cats will love that. So many things. Wow. This is amazing. Okay, I think I got all the pink stuff. Okay. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Look at all the stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, now this is from True Artist DP on Etsy. Uh, they are a newer diamond painting company and they offer licensed diamond paintings, which I am a very strict advocate for that um, I only purchase licensed diamond paintings. Came with a card. Uh, True Artist Diamond Painting. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Oh, look at all the stickers. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Okay. So this is the diamond painting that I ordered. It's called Red Fox. We'll get into that in a minute. Look at all the pretty stickers. Lovely. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. About the artist. The artist is Gwen Seemel. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Gwen Seemel launched her career in Portland, Oregon and shares her art throughout the US, France, Switzerland, Belgium, and Canada. Um, I'm not gonna read all this. I know that's kind of probably boring to you, but it's very interesting to me. Um, I think this is fabulous that they include about the artist. Um, and they give you a link uh, to see her art and other roles as an artist. Um, they give her actual website. So I will have that down below as well in the, uh, in the description. That is amazing. And it's a thank you card for purchasing. That's just, wow. The attention to detail. This is why I support small businesses. Um, just for the small, you know, personal touches. Okay. There's so many things in here. Dainty Rose Hydrogel Lip Mask. I've never done a lip mask before. So that'll be interesting. So actually you do, you put it over, over your lips. Relax and enjoy for 20 minutes, remove and pucker up. Okay, that'll be fun to do with Adam. Um, okay, and this is a cucumber mask pack. Nice. Um, it's all in, uh, I think, Japanese or Chinese. So, yeah. Cucumber mask pack. Yay. This is such cool stuff. Look at all this candy. It goes in the, the Ziploc bag for the candy. I have to show you guys that. Starburst, Rice Krispie Treats. That's mine. Yay. Look at this. Twizzlers. Skittles. Oh my goodness. Okay, I forgot to pull something up. Hold on. I forgot. One moment, please. Uh, I know, this is all over the place, isn't it? All over the place. Hold on. Uh, why is it not telling me? No. All right, hold on. Oh my gosh. Right. For some reason, it's not. Okay, I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, okay. And then, what is this? 
How many of you have ordered from True Artist Diamond Painting on Etsy? This is fabulous. Okay, sorry. Me. I'm trying to find my purchase on Etsy so I can tell you all the deets. All the deets. Here we go. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, I got it. All right. Oh my goodness. What is this? Wait, what is this? This is a pen holder. What? Wait, what? Hold on now. Hold on now. It's called a wave pen holder. And if you see, it's got a picture of two pens and a ruler. Wait a second. We're gonna get to the diamond painting, I promise. <laughs> but this is just amazing. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like rubbery. It like stretches. Oh my gosh, okay, let's try this out, hold on. All right, let me take, I've got a Cooper Coast Creation. Can I stick that in there? Oh, all right, oh, wait, maybe not. It might be too big for, it might be too big for diamond painting pens, actually. Hold on, let me find a skinnier pen. Here, this one's from Gliders and Diamonds. Maybe. Maybe if I have a bunch of them in there, but basically it's like, see the holes? And it's like, it's flexible. Look at that. That is amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Have you guys seen anything like that? Whee! Makes me think of an accordion. You gonna sing for me? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, camera, stop. You're being a pain in the ass. Okay, there we go. That is so neat. I love this. Okay. <laughs> so many things. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm trying to get all this stuff out of the way here. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now we're getting into the actual diamond painting. True artist diamond painting. Appreciation of artists matters. It sure does, sugar. Sure does. Every artist needs to be recognized for their work. I love how this is packaged. And the fact that it came in a box, so it's going to be protected. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Alright, now we'll get into the deets of the diamond painting. This is from Gwen Seemol is the artist. Um, it is a 40 by 40 centimeter round drill cut. That is the image. And I know I've seen a couple of people unbox this. Um, I jumped right on this when um, I got the notification that they had new diamond paintings uh, in their shop because I had not ordered from them before. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, and I ordered this. Let's see, I wrote this down. Uh, this was $42. And um, I did not pay shipping. Sales tax was $2.52. Sorry if you hear my cats playing in the background. They have a ball with a bell in it that they are throwing around the hardwood floor. Here, let me just shut the door. <laughs> Y'all are a nightmare. Nightmare. Okay. Okay, so forty-two dollars. Sales tax was two fifty-two. My total was forty-four dollars and fifty-two cents. And yeah, I had this my notes over here. Um I ordered this on April the twentieth. It arrived on April the twenty-sixth, so very fast. Uh, because they are in New Jersey. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at this. Okay. I'm going to have to roll it the other way. It is a poured glue diamond painting kit, so you can roll it the other way. Um, if you have a double-sided adhesive or a mounted 
film, you do not want to roll it the opposite direction because it will damage the canvas, the glue on the canvas. Okay. Bam. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. And the, the back of it is so soft. Wow. Very soft. It also has glitter uh, in the canvas, kind of similar to like what Diamond Art Club does. Okay. All right. Look at this. This is awesome. Okay. So up top, they have True Artist Diamond Painting. They have their logo up at the top. Y'all see that? True Artist Diamond Painting. Okay. And then over here on the right, you have uh, the size, your schematic, and then your color code chart. Um, and I will say it's, it's larger, so it's easier to see for those of us that have issues uh, with seeing things because we might be a little bit on the older side. That's very cool. And I like the fact that they have a key code on the right and a key code on the left. I think that's important for when you're done painting. Look, I have a runaway drill. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, this is supposed to be a 40 by 40, so we're gonna measure this, see if it's actually true to size. That is just a nick, a nick away from 40. Um, and about a half inch shy of 40 this way. So I'm going to give it to them and say it's true to size. It's 40 by 40 uh, for the actual drill field itself. Uh, sorry for the glare. Let's see if I can, it's probably going to make it kind of dark with my ring lights off, but there we go. Okay. Wow. This is awesome. Okay. Let's see how sticky it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's pretty sticky y'all. <laughs> pretty sticky. All right, let's try to get some of these crinkles out. How many of you have ordered from True Artist? Let me know down below and what you, what your thoughts are. Okay, well, I don't know if that helped really, but let's see. Do it at the top. This also can help your canvas lay a little bit flatter. Very staticky though. All right, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm already seeing something that I'm just very, very happy with. Okay, these are the drills, y'all. They are pre-bagged. Pre-bagged! That is amazing. Oh my gosh. All right, it looks like though, I might have a leak in one of them. Ooh, we're gonna have to do some drills. Okay, here's the kit. I know I'm all over the place. Here's the kit. It's a basic kit, uh, but this is all you need to diamond paint with. If you are new to diamond painting, you get a boat, a pen, and a big chunk of pink wax. This is perfectly fine to diamond paint with, just so you know. All right, let's look at these drills. Wait, what else did I wanna? Oh yeah, the symbols, right. Let's go, let's look at the, the fields. Oh to do it so all right there's gonna be a lot of confetti a lot of confetti in this one can y'all see the symbols there we go very clear um let's see if there are any that are gonna cause cause me some pause here any that are the same color okay it looks like m the letter M and G are close to the same color in brown, but actually, no, they're not. Okay. Okay. And there are no ABs in this kit, just so you know. No ABs. All right. Let's look at the drills. All right. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. So 
But yeah, this I wanted to show you the entire kit. I like the fact that it's a little bit smaller. So this is a snack size kit. This will probably take me a little bit longer though because of all of the confetti. Um, I'm pretty slow when it comes to diamond painting with confetti. Um, I don't mind confetti as long as it's not the entire painting, which it's not because over here, you're gonna have a lot of color blocking over here in this area. So this is just gorgeous. Very, it's a very nice image. Um, yeah, very nice. Okay, drill. Oh my gosh, they're pre-bagged. Oh, absolutely love that. Okay, let's see. Where's the one that I am thinking that it was coming out? No, it didn't come out. Okay. All right, we're going to take all these out. You want to be careful when you take out pre-bagged because there might be some that are not sealed all the way. So you just want to be careful of that. Okay, now we're going to zoom in a little bit. So you can see, see the drills. Okay, now, so that's interesting. So they do have, if you see, they do have the DMC code on them, which I like. I go by the DMC code um, when I, you know, when I work on the canvas, I look at my chart over on the right by DMC code and I work numerically. Um, a lot of people think I'm strange for doing this, but I'll section off with parchment paper. They're five by five parchment paper squares. And in that section, I start at the top up here and I just work my way down for any of these colors that are in that section. That's how I do it. Um, might not be the best way to do it, but that's how I like to do it. So, all right, let's put this light stop. I know the glare, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna put these all up here. Oh, they're pre-bagged, so great, so great. I'm trying to put some of the colors together. So you've got your, your green drills. And we'll do some, oh, there's another green. Put that up here. And you've got your yellow drills, yellow and brown drills, orange. You've got brown and dark red. And purples. Okay, and I'll zoom it in in just a second. Just put them all, oh, there's a red. I'll squeeze that in here somewhere. <laughs> okay. All right, so it says it's got 30 colors, so let's see. Yep, I got 30 colors, so yay. Those are all of your drills, colors. Very nice, very nice. Look at that, 349, that is a, a nice, pretty bright red. The drills look pretty good. I am not seeing, not seeing a lot of trash. I don't see any either that are so far, I don't see any that are staticky, which is nice, but that's easy to fix. You just, you know, take a dryer sheet, um, put it in with the bag, shake it up a little bit. Uh, the other trick I have too is if you take your tray um, and just take a dryer sheet and wipe the inside of your tray, that can help too. Um, let's see, 3835, that's a pretty, that's a pretty purple. This is just great. Um, yeah, so for, in my opinion, for pre-bagged, I'm gonna move all these. Um, for pre-bagged, just gonna gently move these over to the side. Round drills, licensed diamond painting. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's a bad price point. Here, go back out so you can see the full image again. I don't think that's a bad price point. 
Um, I mean, because I'm willing to pay more for a licensed diamond painting because I know that the artist is getting credit uh, where credit is due. So this is wonderful. I look forward to working on this one um, whenever I can. Uh, I'm working on uh, Dear and Delicate right now from Civil Art uh, Crafties. And I'm also getting ready to start Distracted by Diamonds, um, Red Moon, which is for the summer with the Masters event that um, Tiny Worlds of Wonder and Diamonds and Washi are hosting. So I'm actually going to be working on two canvases at the same time for the month of May. That is going to be a little bit stressful for me, but I think I can do it. Um, oh, I just found, that's a dark, okay, wait a minute. That's a dark purple drill. Close that bag open. Let's see. What color is that one? Is that this one? I think it's that one. We're gonna we're gonna go with it being that one. So yeah. Uh, definitely check them out on Etsy. I will have that link down below. Um, I know they put up, you know, on April 20th when I ordered this, they had um, I think it was like two or three new designs for um, diamond painting on their site. And I chose this one. I, I do like foxes. Um, I don't do a lot of diamond paintings with foxes in them, but I do like foxes quite a bit. So anyway, true artist diamond painting and the packaging and all of the things you get with it. Oh my goodness. It's just, wow, so nice. Very nice. So thank you so much to True Artist Diamond Painting for my order. I appreciate um, how quickly it was shipped and how carefully it was packaged. That is amazing. Um, so thank you for that. And the fact that they are all pre-bagged. Yes, I wish every company would pre-bag. So there we have it. There we have it. Okay, I have drills falling out. That's good. <laughs> I hope everybody has a fabulous rest of your week. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that button, uh, the like button and subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, to all of my channel members, thank you so much for all of your continued support. And to those that buy me a coffee, uh, that is a new option I have down in the description below if you would like to support the channel. Never, ever, ever expected, um, but truly appreciated uh, if you do decide to donate to the channel. So there we have it. Everybody have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your week, and I will see you again very soon. Bye, guys.